When you're developing with the Ricoh Theta camera, there are many times when you want to reset the settings back to factory uh, defaults. So you could be adjusting the exposure compensation or using the exposure program for manual settings of things like the shutter, um, doing HDR, and then you just want to reset it back to the normal settings. So this will explain how to use this desktop application from Windows called Opkey Theta ATK Flutter. So I just clicked on this link here on the site after putting my email in and then I extract the zipped package. I'm going to double click on this icon with this giant F because we built it in Flutter and select run anyway. And we popped open with a Windows desktop application. This is a Windows application that we built for testing. To use it, you're going to need to connect your computer to the camera itself. So I'm connecting my computer to the camera as a hotspot. The camera itself is the hotspot. I have two internet connections or two network connections on my computer, which is why I can use the camera connected to my computer and the internet at the same time. Once you establish a Wi-Fi connection between the computer and the camera, you can then run some of the commands. For example, the info or the state command, you can see what's going on inside the camera just to test and make sure that the application itself is working. Notice on the icon that the uh, Z1 is in a video mode. So if you try to get all Z1 options, it tries to pull some options that's only available in image mode and you'll get an error. So just set the camera back to image mode. Uh, you can go to camera use and then select uh, set image mode. And then at that point, then you can use the uh, Z1 settings and get all the settings in, in the camera. So this is, you can visually see what the current settings are for all the settings. And it's difficult to remember what the original settings were from the factory and to make sure all the cameras you're developing is are all the same, just use camera.reset from the API. It's built into this application, so you can just click on the button. On the admin panel, you can see a red reset button. If you press this button, the settings will be reset and the camera will automatically reboot. So in the lower left-hand portion of the video, you can see that there's a red flashing light as the camera starts the reboot process. Then it'll, the OLED will turn blank and you'll see a blue flashing button as the camera starts the reboot process. Once the camera has rebooted, it will no longer be connected to Wi-Fi. So you will, net, you will manually need to flip on the Wi-Fi on the side button of the camera turn on the Wi-Fi and then it'll be blinking. That means it's not connected. At this point, you need to adjust your computer's network to reconnect to the camera as the hotspot, as we did in the beginning of the video. Subscribe to the channel for more tips in the future on how to do effective development with the Ricoh Theta camera.